I could see a world in five years where ESG is meshed in every asset class and everything we do. And I believe that's where it's going. We have seen billions and billions of dollars moving into more sustainable strategies. So this tectonic shift of capital is just beginning. And so for the companies that you are advising on transition risk, if they're not moving fast enough and another company in their industry is moving faster, they're gonna have outflows in their, their ownership and the outflow is gonna go into a company in their same industry. And that's what we're seeing. And that, that is what to me is the aha moment. I do believe in the next five years, we're gonna create more sustainable strategies. We're gonna create more customized portfolios. And through analytics and modeling, we could create a hybrid portfolio that closely, let's say, mimics an S&P or a Russell. And it has, you know, X, Y, Z of tracking error, but we will be able to eliminate, let's say, 10, 20, 30, 40% of the worst offenders in the S&P. It is a form of greenwashing if the traditional companies sell off their hydrocarbons or their worst offenders to some private equity firm. The net carbon footprint of the world does not change. We need holistic solutions with government, with investors, with companies, how to evolve. Maybe we could create a liquidating trust of the hydrocarbons managed by those traditional companies. Maybe we could create like a good bank, bad bank, like we've done in, in financial services for traditional companies. It is urgent that we have conversations with the, the most traditional hydrocarbon companies and working with them. They actually have some of the greatest scientists in this business, and it's gonna be those companies probably are gonna create the best alternatives to green hydrogen. We need to have a just transition. The best way to create a just transition is to be working with the traditional companies and helping them move hopefully faster, but more productively. The number one thing we, could, we have to do as investors is to be investing with these traditional companies and investing with in new companies on finding new technologies to bring down the green premium. It took us 30 years to bring down the green premium from solar and wind to make it more competitive than coal today. We don't have 30 years. We need to find a solution for biofuels. We need to have a solution for all these different products. Right now, 10% of the carbon footprint is created by cement and steel. Are we gonna stop building? Of course not, but we're gonna to have to create new technologies. And so I look at transition risks, not really as a risk, I look at transition as an opportunity.